Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Alright, what we have here is a uh, a uh, custom request. I uh, had a, a buddy of mine request uh, that uh, he wanted a low voltage type power supply that he could run his Striker 955 on in the house. <clears throat> and... Um, This is, uh, this isn't a power supply that I built. This is a power supply that I compiled. I think that's a better word, compiled. Because this is a uh, pre-made switcher. It's an ATX style switcher power supply inside there. I just basically just gave it a case, you know, gave it a voltmeter, binding post, just made it a lot more user friendly. It's I ain't gonna sit here and act like it's something that's not and put a big price on it. <laughs> so um <clears throat> he um he basically wanted a little power spot that's got kind of gonna give the radio a little lower voltage and uh where he can just kind of you know run it long winded and stuff like that. And you know, a lot of people's probably gonna say, Well, why are you why would you wanna run your radio on, you know, voltage at low, just twelve volts? Uh, yeah, this it's not going to give it any more higher than 12 to 12.0 12 dot, uh, dot volts here. Um, and th I mean, there's there's a few different reasons. I mean, there's 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 a certain situation, you know, there's certain things that you can do for different situations. Like, you know, here's an example. You might be in a situation to where you need all the power that you can get out of your radio to, to, to drive something or if you're in a competition or something like that. And you're going to try to run that radio on as, you know, as high volts as you can without damaging it and get as much, most RMS out of it you can. Okay. Well, then there's a different situation. Let's say your radio is actually doing a little bit too much power. And just your RF power is not cutting it, turning it down. And, you know, you can turn the voltage down on your radio and cut that power back a little bit and and you're in within that safe range that you wanted to be in you know that's a that's a situation i actually do here um with uh this this stick man tune that's right up under there it does about 10 to 11 bird on 14 and a half volts but what i've done with that power supply right there is i have it internally set down to about i think 12.4 or something like that 12.4 12.5 I basically turned it down to where it was doing exactly eight bird because that's the exact double that my bench radio does. I just wanted to double the power when I'm showing a hot radio. So, you know, that's one way to do it. And then the radio runs, you know, fine, just perfect on 12 volts, you know, because that's its range, you know. You know, to have it in the user manual, you know, some, some radios run on, you know, 11.4 up to 15 volts, you know, or 15.5 volts, you know. So anyway, so, you know, it, so it ain't exactly a bad or wrong thing that, you know, this power supply is only going to be doing 12 volts and no, nothing higher. It's just, you know, there, there there's a, a certain, <laughs> basically there, there, there's a, like I say, there's a time and place for everything. And there's also a, um, I guess you can say a butt for every seat. <laughs> so, so there's a place for everything, you know, in a certain situation. So this is just going to be a low voltage uh, uh, power supply that's uh, rated at about 23 amps. But uh, I just went ahead and labeled it an 18 amp uh, supply. I'll show you the back of it here. Okay, here's the back of it. Okay. Alrighty, <clears throat> now I'm going to be testing this on a Striker 440. That's you know it's it's close to what he's going to be running. I don't have a a, a Striker 955 here. Another thing you can do with this power supply is uh, you can run a single 2290, single 1446, single 2879 uh, that runs it just fine. Um, I hadn't tried a two fourteen forty six or anything like that yet, so uh, you just have to play around with it. And see, you know, you you got your normal protection, uh, you know, uh, parity, 
Polarity. Oh, I don't even know how to say my words right away. I need, I need to get me some rest, y'all. Polarity protection. And, um... I know there's a way. There, of course, there's got to be a way to actually control the internal voltage on this uh, particular switcher. Let me see. I think I got... I think I got one of them switchers over here right now. Let me see. Now oh, bear with me. I thought I had one here. I had took one apart and had some time and was looking at it. And it's a dang graveyard over here, y'all. Um, let's see. Uh, it's hidden somewhere up under here. I was going to show it to y'all. It might be one of y'all... Uh, familiar with the particular this particular supply and you might be able to share some useful information with me but it's a smaller supply that comes in one of the flat uh, HP uh, gateway I think it's a gateway computer it's a oh yeah actually I put that thing up man I just remember but it comes in a flat computer it's a smaller switcher as you can see the size of it fitting in here so I know there's got to be a way to uh, set the uh, internal voltage or put a little variable on it because that's basically all that is over there. It's a power supply uh, that's a little bit more beefier for a server. And uh, of course, I've got it modded thanks to my thanks to my home boy, Mr. Real Deal, man. Really helped me out with that. I appreciate that. I got that sticker on there, big brother. I know you've been asking me to sure I put that sticker on there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's my, that's my boy right here, y'all. I'm going to show his sticker right there. That's my buddy right there, Mr. Real Deal, out there in the cat picking hog yard, man. Tell you what, the sticker specializes in power supplies, and he does a great job, man. Great job. He knows what he's doing. I'll tell you that right there. Thought I'd go ahead and plug him real quick while he's on my mind, man. He's, he's something else, man. He's a good guy. You ain't gonna find no prices uh, better than him, and he's uh, doing top-notch work, man. Top-notch work. You ask yourself, why would I plug somebody else that could, you know, hurt my bit? Man, this is a hobby, man. This is a love, y'all. You know, I ain't in competition with him. I ain't in competition with, with nobody, man. This is a hobby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I'm going to share, you know, who I like, and I'm going to plug who I like, and that's what it's about, man. You know, we got to we got to uplift each other in this thing, man, you know, instead of putting each other down. I understand there's politics out there. <laughs> I try to stay out of it, but ain't what we're getting into now, so let me roll on with it on this cat picking end. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out here. We got power. I'm going to go ahead and tell, too, I'm, I made a plug for him. A real hefty-duty power plug for his radio. And basically, all I did was just took the plug off one. And um, this is some uh, hefty 14-gauge wire. It's a 14-3 uh, shielded cable. And I'm only using two of them, of course. But um, basically, this is what normally comes with, like, a Cobra 29 or uh you know, the normal Cobra type style plugs. I don't know if that's 18 or 16 gauge. I can't remember. But this is bigger. This is 14. It's hefty. I gave him some length there, you know, just in case he wants to, uh, you know, have some length to it there. And I also, I kind of done that because the way the power supply is designed with bolts back here, which, you know, I guess, you know, that's, that is a kind of overkill i guess you know i could have just came out with a anderson plug or something like that but you know we just went ahead and did it like that so you know so i just went ahead and kind of made him one i put a 20 amp fuse on there for him you know it's pretty you know equal with the power supply there so uh you know there should be that's the way it is and we also have a fuse on the supply too just to be extra careful there all right well, here we go. We are looking at 100 watt slug. Okay. 
Do you see, it's not a lot difference. Like I said, if I'm running this radio on about 14 and a half, 14, 14 and a half volts, it usually does about 20, a little bit hair over. So it's not that much of a difference running it from there down to 12 volts off the supply. Do do so it's working just fine. Oh yeah. And as you see, we're uh, we're pushing it, you know, pretty decently. I don't know how much amperage this uh, radio is running, but there is a transistor in the back of it. Do yeah. Do yeah. So you see it dropping just a hair on eleven point nine. Do yeah. Well, you know, it kind of goes back and forth, 11.9, 12. Oh, yeah. So that's right there, almost 20 bird. I'd say about 18 bird. 18 bird out of an 18 ant. <laughs> so there you go, man. Just want to make a quick video just showing you that it works uh, and everything and let you see that it's done and like I said, man, this ain't something I built. It's just something I compiled together. Shoot, anybody could do something like this, man. Just make it a little user-friendly. And uh, I don't know. I wish I knew exactly what power supply this is so I could ask them. Man, that's what it's all about, man, helping each other out. I've had a lot of people help me out, man. I make a video, and I'll admit, you know, that I don't know fully something, you know, something fully about something. You don't know, you know, I know this much, but I don't know this. And I've had a lot of helpful people come to, hey, man, it, it, actually, here you go. Here's this information. Man, it's a blessing, man. It's the, that's what it's all about. Each one teach one. You know, son teach son. That's what it's all about, man. You know, if you, if, you, if, if you act like you know it all and you act like you can't be taught nothing, well, how can you learn anything? And also, if you can't give something to somebody, how are you going to receive something? You know, it's, it's a kind of a natural process there. It's a kind of a circle of events, the natural laws. And Mr. Gatekeeper said that out here in the backwoods of Georgia. 73rd, y'all. Infowars.com, y'all check it out. Very controversial, but hey, ain't the truth controversial? Just a little uh, radio show I've been listening to since I was about age 20. You always hear it playing in the background. Infowars.com. Y'all check it out if you get a chance. God bless y'all. We good and gone.